Looking at some viewers submitted photos from Terre Haute's north side. Uh, viewers say that some winds snapped a few trees and branches and also knocked over a, a garden shed here over the course of the afternoon. Uh, of course, thanks for those photos, by the way. Those show uh, the results of some isolated thunderstorms that have been making their way through the Wabash Valley. You can see a few here on the Storm Team Fury uh, around the area. Basically, these are showers that will develop in an area, won't really move in a linear fashion, and then will sort of fizzle out within the area where they are. In fact, they're very confined, very limited, and very compact. So not bringing a whole lot in the way of showers, but nevertheless bringing a little bit to some very specific, very small areas developing and bringing some winds with them as well. We've gotten reports of those again from Terre Haute's north side as well from the Hudsonville area over in Illinois. Now, as we look at another issue, and that's the issue of temperatures, we're, we're cooling off quite a bit uh, around the area, getting temperatures down into the 80s in some areas, uh, up into the 90s in some other areas uh, around the Wabash Valley. Temperatures, though, today got especially high. Temperatures down around Olney and Flora, down around 109 degrees, really warming up. We're going to see some relief from that in the coming days. Take a look at that in just a moment here. Um, we're going to take a look back here just a second. Uh, take a look at the future cast forecast as we move through the night. You see showers developing to our south, uh, popping up again over the course of the evening and on through the morning, sticking with us through Sunday as well. You see there from the north a cold front pushing down into our area um, and, and bringing us chances for more of those spotty showers. But take a look at those temperatures there. Highs in the upper 80s through the course of tomorrow. That's that's respite from the high temperatures we've had for really the past week that have been incredibly uncomfortable. As we move through Sunday evening, we're going to maintain some chances for scattered showers through the evening, but most of that clears out by early Monday morning. A little bit of cloud cover, but again, temperatures cooling off significantly. As we move into uh, the, early, uh, the rest of Monday as well, those temperatures, again, only heat up into the mid-80s, staying much more comfortable, much more pleasant as we move through the rest of Monday and into Monday evening. Now, let's take a look at what we're looking uh, forward to tonight. Again, a low around 72 degrees this evening. We'll stay partly cloudy, but again, chances for those isolated storms as well through tonight, about a 20% chance that you're going to get some rain tonight. Tomorrow, we heat up only to around 87 degrees. That's about 15 degrees, even 20 degrees lower than today for a lot of the folks in our viewing area. Much more comfortable, much, much more of a chance to get out and, and, and do any work you have to do while you're out and about tomorrow on your Sunday. But again, chances for showers, chances for some scattered thunderstorms here and there through the day, about a 30% chance of rain tomorrow. And then tomorrow evening, we have a low around 69 degrees. Some storms linger through tomorrow evening, uh, but nonetheless, those should push their way out of the area by midnight. And by the time we get to Monday, things really start to clear out. Now, let's take a look at the seven-day forecast. And you see that those temperatures in the mid-80s stick with us through Tuesday. We do creep back up into the 90s by Wednesday there and through the rest of the week. So really your best bet, if you've got some work to do, uh, certainly I, I would hope you wouldn't have to mow your grass, but anything you need to do, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, really the best days to do it. Well, and looking at those pictures again really quick, I, incredible damage by such a small system from what it looked like. Yeah, and these, again, these are not moving in a linear fashion. This is not a line of storms we're seeing. Instead, they're just pop-up storms that develop Rain brings some wind, as you saw there, and that fizzles a lot really quickly, which also means they don't provide us a whole lot in the way of rainfall. Wow. All right. Well, thank you very much, Joe.